when the Perseverance rover was sent to Mars in order to search for life, Ingenuity, a side project of NASA's, hitched a ride. Little did we know that this side project would change how we explore planets forever. Come see as the Ingenuity helicopter bursts onto the Martian scene with flying colors, exceeds expectations, and revolutionizes Mars exploration as we know it. Join us aboard Perseverance as we journey to the Jezero Crater. It wasn't too long ago when we celebrated the Perseverance rover launch alongside its much smaller companion, Ingenuity. Perseverance was sent to Mars with the main mission of seeking out signs of life and collecting samples of rock and regolith. Ingenuity's mission was far less grand, and yet, this little side project was about to set a new bar in the field of planetary exploration. The pair were sent from Cape Canaveral on July 30th, 2020 to the intriguing Jezero Crater. On Earth, water is life. It is believed that amino acids, the veritable building blocks of life, first appeared from hot, water-rich, and highly energetic environments. Think volcanoes or hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor. If there are signs of life to be found on Mars, it is thought that they will be where the water is, or where the water was. And geological features of Jezero Crater just happen to fit the bill. Additionally, the Jezero Crater Delta appears to be full of boulders. But the question is, how did they get there? On Earth, only huge floods can lift and transport boulders that massive. We will be able to learn more about the history of Mars' geological characteristics, including how wet ancient Mars may have been, thanks to the pictures and data that Ingenuity and Perseverance collect. For their voyage through space, Ingenuity was tucked safely under Perseverance's belly and covered by a shield in order to prevent debris damage during descent and landing. On February 18th, 2021, Perseverance released Ingenuity onto the Martian surface, having found a suitable, obstacle-free airfield from which Ingenuity could conduct its first test flights. Even at this point, NASA scientists were not sure if Ingenuity would actually fly. It sounds absurd, right? NASA launches rockets to Mars, but isn't sure if this tiny helicopter will fly? Well, on Mars, things are quite different than they are on Earth. On Earth, our atmosphere is comparatively quite dense and our gravity is much stronger. That means the basic aerodynamics and engineering principles we use to create lift here are not going to operate exactly the same on Mars. Mars' atmospheric volume is less than 1% of Earth's, and the gravity on Mars' surface is only 38% as strong as Earth's. That means on Mars, a typically designed Earth-bound aircraft would barely be able to get off the ground, let alone stay in the air. Ingenuity was designed and built with a single concept in mind. It had to be light and it had to be strong at the same time. So NASA scientists had to come up with something totally different than anything ever built for flight here on Earth. The blades would have to be made of special material, and they would have to rotate at lightning-fast speed. And boy, did NASA deliver! Ingenuity has four carbon fiber blades divided across two rotors, which rotate in opposite directions at a speed of 2400 revolutions per minute. For comparison, a typical helicopter on Earth has rotors that spin at only 400 to 500 revolutions per minute. This speed is essential to provide lift in the much thinner Martian atmosphere. Ingenuity's main body is only about the size of a tissue box, but it carries some pretty important equipment, including a guidance system, sensors, cameras, and a protective heater that prevents it from dropping to unsafe temperatures. Nighttime on Mars can get pretty chilly, with temperatures as low as negative 90 degrees Celsius or negative 130 degrees Fahrenheit. The lightweight construction of Ingenuity reduces its power requirements, and on Mars, the drone weighs an incredible 0.7 kilograms or only 1.5 pounds. Talk about delicate. 
Ingenuity uses an antenna to maintain contact across a 300 meter or 984 foot range via a specialized transceiver on board Perseverance. The drone uses six lithium batteries, which store enough power for one of its typical flights, lasting less than 60 seconds each. One entire Mars day, referred to as a SOL and lasting approximately 24 hours and 40 minutes, is needed to fully recharge the onboard batteries using Ingenuity's built-in solar panel. This little chopper's flight duration is not limited by lack of power, but rather by the fact that its six motors heat up by one degree Celsius every second that it's in flight. Over the course of 40 or 50 seconds, that's a lot of heat. To round out this discussion of Ingenuity specs, I know you want to know the cost. This little pioneer interplanetary flyer costs NASA 85 million US dollars to design, build, and operate. It may sound like a lot, but when you consider the 2.7 billion US dollar price tag of the entire Perseverance mission thus far, 85 million seems like a bargain, don't you think? And wow, did that price tag turn out to be worth it. Upon landing on February 18th, 2021, Perseverance got to work pretty quickly helping its little buddy prepare for its first flight. In part, that entailed Perseverance driving about 100 meters or 330 feet away from the drone to allow for a safe fly zone. Ingenuity did not waste any time proving to NASA that it was well worth its weight in gold. Oh, actually, at its Mars weight of only 0.7 kilograms, that's only worth about 43,000 US dollars. Hmm, perhaps 85 million could have bought us a bit more. Well, in any case. To begin with, Ingenuity was scheduled for five test flights over a 30-day test campaign. The targeted height for each flight was 3 to 5 meters, or 10 to 16 feet above the ground. But Ingenuity would quickly surpass that target. The initial flight on April 19, 2021 consisted of a 40-second hover at a height of 3 meters, or 9.8 feet. This was a huge success. And following two more highly successful test flights, the entire objective of the mission changed from that of technology demonstration to one of operational demonstration. Ingenuity had more than proven itself and its technological capacity. Its new goal became supporting Perseverance by mapping out and scouting the Martian terrain from the sky. At the time of this video, almost exactly two years since landing on Mars, Ingenuity has completed 41 flights, covered 8,191 meters or 26,875 feet, and achieved a maximum altitude of 14 meters or almost 46 feet. And with all these fancy aerial maneuvers, Ingenuity has helped to further support the claims of ancient life on Mars. As Ingenuity can cover a wide range in a short amount of time, compared to the relatively slow Perseverance rover, it has helped its landlocked partner find the best spots for sample collection and testing. The drone has also found clues that reveal traces of water channels on Mars that existed long ago. This unique robot duo have certainly become trusty companions and co-explorers of the Martian terrain. Although Ingenuity was the very first interplanetary flyer, its success guarantees that it certainly will not be the last of its kind. To study the rich chemical makeup and dynamic atmosphere of Titan, Saturn's largest moon, NASA has already constructed the nuclear-powered octocopter known as Dragonfly. Scheduled to arrive at Titan in 2034, Dragonfly will travel more than 175 kilometers or 108 miles, stopping at dozens of Titan's hottest locations. Other future extraterrestrial aircraft may fly across Venus's dense clouds or into Mars's deep gorges. The possibilities are becoming endless. And in fact, there are already rumors circling of a soon-to-launch Mars mission that will deliver not one, but two helicopters onto the Red Planet, capable of collecting samples on their own without a rover companion. This would no doubt increase the speed, 
success, and exploratory potential of future missions. So, are the rumors true? Expect it to launch in 2028, the Mars Sample Retrieval Mission, which is, as the name implies, a mission to bring samples collected on Mars back to Earth. Using the sample retrieval lander, NASA and the European Space Agency plan to carry a rocket known as the Mars Ascent Vehicle and two helicopters to Mars in order to complete this retrieval mission. The Mars Ascent Vehicle will be the first rocket launched from another planet, and it will carry with it on board something known as the Orbiting Sample Container. This container will house all the priceless samples that Perseverance rover will have been collecting for years by the time of this retrieval mission. How will those samples get into the container, you ask? That will, of course, be the job of the two NASA sample recovery helicopters. These will be more updated versions of our beloved Ingenuity, complete with tiny arms for grasping sample tubes with precision, and perhaps with added wheels for extra maneuverability. The already unimaginable feat of firing a rocket from the Martian surface is only made more significant by the idea that scientists will be able to directly study these samples with highly sophisticated equipment right here in laboratories on Earth. Re-entry is scheduled for 2033, and you definitely don't want to miss out on what these samples have to tell us about life on Mars. Ingenuity has already exceeded its numbers of expected flights by more than 30. Do you think this surprising little drone will still be flying when the retrieval lander gets to Mars in 2028? Let us know what you think in the comments.